So that's it for Halley Expo 2015. Uh, it's day three here at the show and it's certainly been a busy show again. Um, it's always difficult to compare and contrast how this show compares with previous editions, but there's certainly been a lot of news to, uh, to bring across. Uh, among which were activity from the OEMs. We saw Airbus helicopters finally unveil the X4. So the covers came off and we saw we met the H160 for the first time, uh, which features a number of new innovations. Uh, the company also announced that they're going to, in line with their move to become Airbus helicopters from Eurocopter, they've completely renamed their entire product range. Um, in addition, the uh, mystery of Bristow's involvement with the EC-175 program, which has been under a little bit of doubt in the last couple of years, which was all, that was all cleared up with the announcement that the company is buying 17 of the new H-175s. Uh, not to be down, outdone, Augusta Westlands unveiled a heavier version of its AW139 that now weighs in at 7 tonnes. Uh, that's possibly in response to the X4 project and posi positioning itself to kind of compete with the AW139. In addition, Augusta Westland showed off its civil tilt rotor at Halley Expo for the first time um, and it was unveiled in Bristow colours given that the two companies are now working together under a formal agreement for the developmental program. Bell Helicopter also had several announcements in the first few days of the show. Um, they unveiled the 407 GXP, which is the next, next iteration of their 407 platform. Uh, this coincided with an announcement that Air Methods, the EMS operator, had signed a 10-year agreement for 200 aircraft. They are all 407 GXPs, um, so that certainly gives that program a big boost. In addition, Waypoint Leasing announced that they had signed a letter of intent for 20 of the new Bell 525 Super Mediums. Uh, that gives that program a significant boost. Um, yeah, Waypoint is now the third customer that we know about for that program. Uh, there's still a little bit of a question mark over when the first flight's going to take place, but Bell seems to remain confident that that'll take place in the first half of this year. Sikorsky provided a good update on their programs. Um, in addition, they outlined what they're doing in the field of uh, automation. They also held a form formal ceremony in conjunction with Bristow Helicopters uh, to mark their involvement with the UK SAR program. Um, in addition, they provided a bit more uh, certainty over what they're doing with the former Schweitzer range, so the S300 and the S333s. Of course, it's not all about the big boys. Um, a, a number of smaller companies also showed off their helicopters. Composite Helicopters International also uh, displayed two new helicopters at the show, the KC-630 and the KC-650. Uh, both aircraft are based on composite technology, which the company says is six times stronger than current materials. Um, we, we just had an interview with them and they, uh, yeah, they have, had a lot, have had a lot of interest in the two airframes and they're optimistic that the program will be up and running and the production line will be rolling shortly. Of course, all this is just a taste of what went on at the show this year. Um, there are a load of announcements, there are a lot of new product launches, There's seem, the visitor numbers seem to be good. Uh, throughout the show, our news teams are roaming the halls, getting news and video interviews. So for more, go to our, our website. Um, if we didn't see you this year, then uh, we'll look out for you later in the year at other events. Otherwise, we'll see you at Halley Expo 2016.